How's it going Clashes? It's your boy Mastermer back with a brand new video. So today we're going to be talking about Tano level 12 and some update ideas that my, well, well, Supercell may implement to the game. So yeah, let's see what we've got. So first of all, Supercell to add a level 7 clan castle and simply because we have the mini, well, the berry dragon and to be honest, you can't really fit that much in. You can only fit like three in, which is quite good, but I would love to have like a golem and a baby dragon since obviously the capacity will be upgraded by five. So that makes a total of 40 and yeah, that would be pretty damn sweet. So a level six clan castle cost around seven million gold i reckon that the level seven should cost around nine and a nine and a half mil simply because your gold storages are upgraded and it can hold a total capacity of 10 mil and yeah that would be pretty damn sweet who doesn't want like more troops in your clan castle and i'm not really too sure if the spell storage will increase me personally i think that should increase by one as well so you can hold up like two extra spells that may be extremely overpowered but who knows so the next idea is a troop and it's going to be called the reaper and yeah this looks extremely badass and what it basically does is it goes invisible for a short period amount of time in this ghostly cloak which allows it to hide from defense and yeah it basically just slices buildings and who doesn't want that it's gonna look extremely like awesome but it will be for tunnel 11 in my opinion not really for tunnel 10 since tunnel 10 is like it's, it's basically gone supercell's prime focus is tunnel 11 right now and yeah so the damage per second would be 42 its hit points would be 66 and it's going to cost you dark elixir so it's going to be a dark elixir troop which is sweet as well and it's going to cost you eight which is considerably cheap now that allows you to get like loads of reapers and it's just going to cause an immense amount of havoc and yeah i will definitely use this since it targets like ground and air troops so I don't really know how that's possible with a stick, maybe a stick goes like extended so super long to take out like a dragon or something, that would be insane and it's single targeted and yeah, it's training cost would be 45 seconds, it's movement speed would be 32 and housing space would be 2, so you can have loads of reapers, so it's going to be similar to a barbarian and archer put together, think of it as that but dark elixir, if Supercell did implement a trip like this i would definitely be definitely upgrading my dark elixir barracks so the next idea is going to be a defense and that is the witch statue so yeah it's not going to be called the witch tower or anything like that but a statue in fact and yeah i think it really suits the troop perfectly to be honest it does cost 200k gold that is very very unrealistic I think it should cost around like 4 million since that would make a bit more sense and yeah it seems like you can only build one witch tower but I think you should be able to build two and obviously this should be available for town hall 11 of course or even town hall 12 who knows and yeah it will produce a considerable amount of damage but I just want to say something is that whoever designed this is amazing like it looks so damn good it's just ridiculous i don't really know the damage per second and hit points so you guys can make that up in the comment section down below or just figure it out and yeah this should definitely implement something like this since the witch needs its own defense it's just awesome so the next idea is going to be a gem collector or a gem mine and yeah i really love this concept that this person has created for the simple fact that it's really detailed sort of and yeah it's going to be three by three space okay so relatively small and it's going to create three gems per hour i think that's actually pretty good nothing like unbelievable like 15 gems per hour i think that's gonna be a bit too much but three gems is okay for like probably level one and level two it doubles level three it doubles and level four it doubles again which is going to be good and yeah the maximum gem it holds is 30 and obviously as you upgrade it it's going to like the capacity increases which is pretty damn sweet now i'm going to show you like how it should actually look like so this is a concept now this is how it should look like
Now, for the moment you've all been waiting for, Tarno level 12. In my opinion, it's not really going to be coming out like this Clash Con in this year. I think it's going to come out like next year. So they're going to have to give like Tarno 11 a bit more time, implement new defenses, make sure there's a lot more like maxed out Tarno 11 people that are not just gemming 24-7. So yeah, this is just a little concept picture of how it looks like. But in my opinion, in town or level 12, it should have like a defense on top of it like even an archer or it should have even a Tesla. Something to make it have a bit of value as well as it being a storage. So it basically helps out instead of just goblins attacking it and it's just like the defense is completely helpless. And the concept that when you are attacking a like a classic clan's village all the villagers run inside the town hall what is the point of that what is the logic in that so if it has a like a defense it would make more sense instead of being that stupid to be honest so yeah this one looks a bit all right it just looks too much cartoony but i'm sure town hall level 12 is super self produced it's gonna look awesome and yeah so to upgrade from town hall 10 to town hall 11 it's gonna cost you 7 million gold so from tunnel 11 to tunnel 12, I think it should cost like 9, 8 million, something like that. And yeah, and of course you kind of forget the storage capacity. Currently it's 2 million at tunnel level 11. I think that should increase to about like double, so 4 million for gold and elixir. Same double the dark elixir capacity to 4 million and the hit points as well should again double to... Um, Currently it's 6,800 so it should increase to uh, 13,600 and yeah that will be pretty damn sweet. So that's practically it for this update ideas video and yeah let me know down below what you guys think that Supercell should also implement in Tano level 12 update perhaps or even in Tano level 11 which is what we are currently at. So thank you guys for watching me master and we hope you have a great day. As always, eat, sleep, clash, repeat. Maybe I'm just paranoid. Yeah, I'm paranoid. I'm tripping.